Hello, my YouTube friends. Restream versus Melon. It's a showdown of two of the best browser-based live streaming apps out there. But which one is better? Well, we're gonna find out today. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. We're not messing around today. I'm not pulling any punches. First, I'm gonna compare the feature sets that you get with each of these pieces of software. Second, I'm gonna compare the ease of use for each piece of software. Third, I'm gonna break down adding a guest to each of these applications and show you it from the guest perspective as well. Fourth, I wanna compare the pricing, what each includes for free, and how the feature tiers break down. And last but not least, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each app and my personal recommendations or Thoughts. There's a link to both Melon and Restream Studio in the description so you can check them out for yourself and it's free so why not let's go ahead and dive into the features right off the bat both Melon and Restream offer the ability to add a green screen change out your logos things like that. Here in Restream first, you can add overlays to your live streams. Really simply here with the overlay feature, it's located in the graphics section. You can also add video clips to your live stream. There are a whole lot listed here already. Countdowns, that sort of thing. I added one of my own here. And when you play these, they're going to replace you on the screen. They're gonna fill the whole screen. Backgrounds, you can add as well. A lot of these have some cool animations to to them, the ones that are included. Moving on to Melon, on the multimedia side, they have this really cool tab called Themes. And you can select from a bunch of different themes that add overlays, different fonts, and different texts with different backgrounds. It's really, really cool. And the best part is you can decide on a theme that you like, and then when you take it into the design functionality, you can change it up. You can change the background. You can change the overlays. And the best part is, you know, the fonts stay the same. But if you want to change the fonts, you can do that as well. So Melon really does offer a pretty powerful multimedia ability. And they have a video section. These work the same as the ones in Restream do, where when you click on one of these videos, they have a bunch of countdown ones already in here, and they will be over top of everything on the screen to offer those countdowns. And of course, you can load in your own video as well. Back in Restream, here are the text features. Basically, these are lower thirds. You can add a one tier one or two tier one. Restream has banners and tickers as well. As you can see, you can actually resize these and move them anywhere you want on the screen, which is really nice. You can also change the text fonts and the text size and everything in these. And the ticker can be located on the top or bottom and the text can scroll either left or right. Very cool. So some really interesting features with Restream Studio. You can actually load in a local video. So it will load off of your hard drive and this will play in a window and you can change the layout and drag it into either part of the layout, which is really cool. And then this is a very unique feature to Restream only. It has this background music beta. You can click it and select some background music. It loads up here on the left as if it were another guest or something like that. You can just add it to the stream with the slider and adjust the volume. So it's really cool because this is royalty free music and they make it really easy to add to your stream. And that is one cool Restream unique feature. And when we take a look at the chat, another unique feature is that you can add a chat overlay. Over here on the right, it will show all the text that comes into your live stream and of course if someone chats in your text you can select that text and add it right to your screen in the lower thirds which is really fantastic so you can see there the chat overlay in the top right and you can see that if I select that text it puts it down
down in the lower left. Now over in Melon, one of the coolest and most unique features is the ability to add widgets. All you have to do is connect to your Streamlabs and you can select my donation settings and go into your Streamlabs, edit up all the settings and here I split the screen and if we test the donations you can see in the alert box you're going to actually be able to see these alerts on your live stream. It's absolutely fantastic. They also have an alert widget for donation goals. So every time someone donates to your live stream, it will add to the donation goal. It will fill up. It's just one more awesome way for your audience to be able to interact with you on your live stream. And they have their own video feature down here. If you click share, you can go to video. And if you load that up, you can configure that into the different layouts that they have. And the thing I like the most about this is if you mouse over it on the screen, you can pause it and adjust the volume for that video file. It's absolutely all of the control that you could possibly want for that media. And the last feature here is of course the chat feature, which will show the chat on the screen that you select. As far as screen sharing goes, both of these are nearly identical. They give you the ability to add the entire screen, a window or a Chrome tab. Here I'm showing Restream. And then right here, you can see it's basically the exact same thing in Melon. Both of these offer some unique features, but how easy is each one to use? For ease of setup, I really just want to show you how long it would take if you just logged in and got ready to go live on each of these products. And we're gonna start out with Restream. So here we are on the website, we're just gonna go to log in and click log in. Now we can add a channel right here in the top left and you just select the one you wanna add. You can connect it to your YouTube channel, which is what I'm gonna do. It just walks you through the normal permissions and we allow it and then we can create an event all we need to do is click enter live studio up on the top right and that'll take us right into the live studio once we're in the live studio we want to go ahead and click this little gear button down here in the lower right and we can select our video input and we can select our resolution and then we're going to select our audio our microphone and last but not least our listening device so your speakers or your headphones or anything like that and you can also select your live stream quality what you want to live stream at and now we can just hit the go live button in the top right hand corner and we're ready to go live over here in melon we're going to go ahead and click on products we're going to select melon then we're going to click login and we're going to go ahead and and log in with our account for YouTube. It's gonna just run us through the permissions for our account. Once we're in, we can just click got it on this and we'll go down and adjust to make sure we have the right camera. So you just click this little arrow here. We can select our cam link, that's what I'm using and select the resolution for your camera. And then we can add our microphone by clicking this arrow here. We're gonna add our audio input and we're going to add the speaker or however we're going to be listening to our stream more than likely you should be using headphones here but you are free to use whatever you like the echo cancellation and all that stuff seems to work pretty well in melon so you can possibly get away without actually using headphones and then all you really need to do once you set that up is click the go live button down in the bottom right and boom you're live with melon a huge reason that people use these apps is the guest adding features so let's walk through how they work for the streamer and the guest. Now here's how a guest is going to add to Melon. They get the link, they click on the link, it takes them to a web page. it asks them if they want to allow their camera, and they give permission to allow their camera and microphone to be used. Then it brings up this screen where they're gonna put their name in, select their camera and microphone, and also their audio output that they wanna be listening to with their headphones. And there are a couple of other settings that they can set here camera resolution and that sort of stuff. Once they're ready, they just click join and they're in. Now from the actual streamer's perspective, you can see this is set up so you get your guests on the left hand side and we're gonna copy out the link to invite our guests and they appear over there on the left and you just click show on stream to add them to the stream. And now we have a fourth guest, just click show on stream. And you can solo folks by clicking these buttons right here. And here are the different layouts that are available with Streamlabs Melon. You can also just drag and drop a person from one window to another very easily. 
And there are some really neat layouts here as well. Now we're going to take a look at adding someone with Restream. So they get the link, they click on the link, it takes them to a web page. Once again, they have to allow their mic and their camera. Then you just come in to this screen right here. You can click on the microphone buttons or the little gear so that you can set up your microphone. You put in your name and you click join stream. It's really simple. Now over for the streamer, I'm just gonna click here and collect my link, send it out to individuals, and you see they show up here on the left-hand side. You just have to click this slider to add your guests, and we'll add all of our guests here. And this actually looks pretty nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of the layouts that you can use. Once again, you can just drag and drop people into a different window if you want. I do like how the animations kind of flow in. It is really, really cool. And that is all the window setups. All three are pretty easy to add guests to. Both of these apps have free features and paid tiers. So let's look at each and compare what you get. With Melon, for free, you can accept donations, which means you can use the widgets, and that's awesome. You get real-time alerts from your supporters. You do have streaming limits. You can stream for four hours every month, and it resets at the end of each month. You can have guests up to two participants, and you get a limited amount of brand customization with the Melon branded watermark. When you bump up to just $15, you get all the free stuff, plus you remove the watermarks, six participants, unlimited streaming. You can multi-stream up to three destinations, up to four full hours of recording, disconnect protection, custom RTMP services, 15 days of recording storage, unlimited branding, logo, overlays, and themes, and you get to upload media files up to 150 megabit limit. That is a whole heck of a lot for $15. And if you bump yourself up to pro, you get all that plus nine participants, audio only recordings if you want to do a podcast or something like that up to 10 hours of recording you can upload media files with a 300 megabyte limit multi-stream to an unlimited number of destinations in full hd 30 days of recording storage and priority support. Restream does have a very comprehensive free section. You get to stream unlimited, on-screen comments and captions, chat overlays, screen sharing, background music, high-res audio, and up to six stream participants. Now, you basically get the exact same thing for $19 a month with a few more stream participants. And you really don't get anything additional until you move up to professional at $49 a month and then you can remove the watermark, add the custom graphic overlays, the video uploads, stream in full HD and split the audio tracks for recording, which is a really cool feature. All that's left is my thoughts on each app. So which one is best? You know me guys, I'm going to always lean towards the positive and I think there's a reason why you would use Melon or Restream. So I'm going to get into it. Now, if you are just out looking to live stream, there is honestly no better value than Melon. It's 15 bucks to upgrade it and remove the watermark. And it has a way that you can actually add widgets, which nothing else has out there in a browser-based UI. And I absolutely love that. Now, it is really, really limited if you're going to use it for free. But it's also only $15 a month to upgrade and get just about all the things, which is pretty sweet. Now, on the flip side to that, Restream has some really cool features. I love the fact that you can add background sound, and I really do like the fact that when you upgrade it all the way, you can record all of the audio in separate tracks. And I think that's fantastic for a professional. But the truth be told, you get a lot for free, but you don't get anything else, including removing the watermark, unless you upgrade to the $50 range. And I do think that that is a big Achilles heel for Restream. If you're going to be a professional live streamer or you're going to do a professional podcast, then I can see you spring in the $50. But it would really be nice if you could at least remove the watermark at that middle tier. And either way, that middle tier is still more expensive than the middle tier for Melon. So if price is a consideration for you, then Melon is the hands down winner. As far as features go, they really are pretty doggone close. If alerts are something you're really looking for, then Melon is definitely the one for you. If you're looking for background audio and really kind of neat transitions from one layout to another, 
well, then maybe Restream is the one for you. As far as layouts go, they're literally almost identical. For me, I'm generally pretty budget-minded, truth be told. And you probably know that from watching my content. So Melon would probably be my personal choice also because I would never stream without the ability to add alerts. I just think it adds a level of interaction that your audience gets to have with you that no other browser-based live streaming app adds. And to me, well, you live stream for interaction with your audience and I just think that's awesome. So that's the one I would personally choose, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best one for you. At the end of the day, I think these are both quality live streaming tools, and I don't think you can really go wrong with either one. Don't forget, there are links in the description for each one of these so you can take a look for yourself. And let me know what you think in the comments. If you want a more in-depth look at Melon or Restream Studio, you should check one of these videos out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.